I'm having some kind of hair issue here. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Michaela, and today we are in Okinawa at Tomari Iyumachi, which is a sakana ichiba, a sakana, a, a fish market, um, where they mainly specialize in selling tuna, magura. And today we are here to see a special show that showcases how one whole fish is cut into different types of sashimi. Check it out! Today at Tomari Yumachi Fish Market, they are carving a bincho maguro, or in English, an albacore tuna. Although there are many factors in determining the price of a fish, a tuna fish about this size will usually sell for around ni yen, or $200. In less than a minute of carving the fish, we already have our first piece of sashimi. Zuniku is taken from the head of the fish and is considered rare and a delicacy, as you can only get two stems per fish. One interesting thing to note is that the entire carving of this magaro is done with only one knife. This is partially thanks to the soft and smooth texture of the albacore tuna. Once the skin is broken, the knife glides cleanly along the inside of the fish. The next piece of sashimi produced before us is kamatoro. It's an oily and fatty meat located near the collarbones of the fish. Since this rare cut only makes up about 3% of an entire tuna fish, you're not likely to find it in sushi restaurants. Next up is okakumaku, or the diaphragm of the tuna. You might be surprised to know that this can be eaten as sashimi as well. By the way, as one fisherman carves the fish, another is preparing all the sashimi so that onlookers can enjoy the different flavors and compare the textures right there on the spot. Finally, the main cuts of the tuna are produced. These massive cuts are what go on to become sashimi and sushi in traditional Japanese restaurants. But there's one more special portion of the tuna that shouldn't be overlooked. The leftover flesh on the spine of a fish is called nakaochi. It's scooped up with a spoon and served raw, and it's so soft and delicious. The larger blocks are then cut up into smaller pieces of sashimi, and as you can see, just a single quarter of one fish can produce a lot of sushi. For only $200 a fish, it doesn't seem like such a bad investment, does it? Finally, it's time to eat, so here we are. Kamatoro, okakumaku. Zuniku and Nakaochi. Four delicacies you can probably only experience when you eat them straight at the source. まあ、あの折りたてのテーブルですけども高級寿司屋のカウンターでマグロ三枚コースみたいな感じ。そうですよね。<笑> 
So as I'm sure a lot of you guys know, bluefin tuna is an endangered species on the brink of extinction. The fish that we've seen today, albacore tuna, is also, although not endangered yet, um, the populations are decreasing. So it is, it is really important that when you consume tuna, to consume responsibly, don't waste your food, and you know, be conscious of the fact that the less we consume, the better. I know it's a weird message to kind of like stick at the end of a video that shows you how sashimi is made, but I think it's important to say, you know, it's, it's educational, but it's also, you should know that um, we do have to be careful with how we consume tuna in the next couple of years or else our future generations won't be able to enjoy it. And it is very delicious, so that would be a shame. Anyway, gotta go. Bye.